So I bought myself a new toy. This is a Rosetta Pilot Aware, which I've got running off a USB power bank. This is a Rav Power power bank. Um, this is a bit unusual in the fact that this has no way of powering itself. You have to supply a power bank or USB power of about 2.1 amps. This is a 2.4 amp output, so it's fine. Uh, they recommend um, anchor power supplies, but RAV power, this one seems to work fine. It will last for ages on this. This is actually a Raspberry Pi in here with proprietary radio forwards and stuff. And down here, which this cover comes off, you can see it's a Raspberry Pi because you've got the typical Raspberry Pi output and you've got a USB GPS receiver and an SDR or software defined radio in there. So when you get it, the first thing they actually tell you to do is take this cover and check everything's plugged in, which is a little bit strange for something that's aviation normally things are super expensive and super high quality this one seems a little bit it's not low quality but it's not quite what you'd expect uh two aerials one for the uh one point oh, what am i talking about 1090 megahertz for the transponder receiving and this is like a flam and also a proprietary link between the rosettas and the ground stations, they have ground stations dotted around the country that pick up the information to help triangulate mode C and mode Charlie. I've seen most of mode C and Charlie and mode Sierra transponders. Uh, they use time of flight calculations and they send the data up. If you're not in contact with a ground station, it will show up as a warning anyway saying there's an aircraft nearby but won't give you a direction. So it's nice to know there's an aircraft nearby, and if you are in of a tower it will show you where it's pointing um yeah so you plug it in power in uh leave it a few minutes and it shows up as a wi-fi hotspot and then you log into it with either a laptop or phone and then you can use it with anything like sky demon but first you've got to go in the i'll show you the configuration of the gesture so cut to my laptop so to log into this and you can do this on any device uh, any device that you can connect to wi-fi and you display a web page you go into your Wi-Fi settings and you make sure you're connected to it because it shows up as a hotspot. You connect to it. So once you're in, you can do poor dot local, which doesn't work, or you can do 192.168.1.1, and there we get into the Pilot Aware Rosetta, and you've got a number of details here: your GPS status, barometer status, pi. Uh, Pi status. This is an internal signal that used to communicate between different pilot wares that are in flight and ABSD status. That's basically what you're looking for. Then you've got configuration that I've already done, which I won't show you because it's got license keys and stuff, but all I've done to set it up was basically read the instructions they send you. So it's nothing new. And these are the important ones traffic, which shows you the actual aircraft that are here. Oh, look, Boeing 737. And METARS, which if you're in contact with a ground station you come up with metars so a list of weather or locations near you at different ground station just different points and then your radar which shows you where the aircraft are so there's two there on the screen right now 9,500 uh, 9, 19, feet in climbing and 32,900 feet in stable and then you can link that to your flight map like pilot um pilot aware what's the one flight demons free flight Four flight even and easy VFR basic. Or you just have this on the in the aircraft in the cockpit and that's good enough, isn't it, to show you where the aircraft are. So here we are logged in and we've got our GPS fix. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, GPS fix barometer is working. We're picking up ABSB frequencies and the pipe signal is connected, the proprietary signal. We can go into traffic. And these are the aircraft it's currently picking up. And then we go to METAR. If we look here, if we connect it to one of the ground stations, there's ground stations dotted around the country, we'll pick up the METARs and stuff, which are basically the weather reports for those who are not uh, flight knowledgeable. And here you can see you've got an aircraft on the screen. So the aircraft in the centre is um, where we are. And the aircraft, that little triangle thing is another aircraft. If I go on my phone, Again, I log into the Pilot Aware GPS hotpoint. point. 
aspect you can hear it above now the aircraft and you see here it's got 38,000 feet so that's how high the aircraft is right above us to go into I'm going to go into e, VFR basic it says there's no interconnection but there won't be so this is a free uh, GPS flight bag uh, agree yes and that's out of date and on here now this is connected to the pilot aware we should actually see the aircraft on a live map and this we can mount in the aircraft or in the cockpit or in the knee pad or something so you can actually see a live map with real traffic if we load up there we go so if we zoom in you can see there's us and that was current traffic there so traffic there's the traffic oh i can't zoom any further so we actually get real world traffic in real time we've got another one down here as well so as you're flying along i've been in the purple airplane and we're currently based at rochester you can see traffic around you in real time not relying on any data connection you see he's moving away there and again you can see if i zoom in on him we've got his call sign we've got his altitude so he's 29,000 feet airspeed there of 3377 knots currently a vehicle so that'll be an airliner so that's quite a nice use so we're picking up mode s so that'll be an abs-c aircraft but we can pick up mode s mode c and flam they even do uh, positioning on mode C and mode S via time of flight on the signals which is quite clever so that's a quick overview hope you enjoyed that and uh, it's nice to have in the cockpit and again you can have it up on the screen on any device you can connect to the internet really so again you've got him there and we can go into traffic and we can see more information about the aircraft that we're spotting so again you'll hear mode charlie mode charlie uh these are absb i believe these ones and they're squawk code yeah that's the same one isn't it yeah so i've yet to take it flying oh yeah you can do some tracking stuff apparently i think i don't know really how you do this but yeah, it's good that you can take it go flying. I need to actually go for a flight, but you know, lockdown, coronavirus. And uh, then I'll be able to tell you exactly what it's like. But for now, thank you for watching and see you soon later. And before I forget, there is actually, because this is a Raspberry Pi, a headphone socket on the outside. So you can fit a headphone cable in and you can plug this into the auxiliary input of your radio if you've got one or to your headsets if you've got a auxiliary in on your headset or even i suppose worst case an external speaker but you can have um, voice alerts for traffic which is quite useful um, much more useful than having a visual display because you're you're not stuck looking at display you can still have your eyes outside the cockpit so that's also useful so i'll do like that and hopefully one day one day i'll be able to show you that in the air just have to get these uh, lockdowns over with. But yeah, for now, see you later and uh, goodbye.